thousand steps must run. I'm dying. <clears throat> Bit dramatic. I'm not actually dying. I am, however, though, quite sick, which is bad because it's Thursday and I have a race on Sunday. So here's the setup. So today, Thursday, I have a race Sunday. My last actual workout, like when I ran fast, like when I felt good was, no, 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 not Saturday, not last Friday, not even last Thursday, but last Wednesday. It wasn't even anything special. It was just, it was just a, it was just a four mile tempo run. Thursday was fine, easy run. Friday, fine, easy run. Saturday, got sick. I had a lovely day Saturday, I was just sick. Ran Sunday, terrible run. Ran for like an hour, terrible. Super hot, like 30 degrees Celsius. Felt like crap on Monday, didn't run. Ran again on Tuesday for like an hour. Still not, still sick, still like ugh. Ran yesterday, feeling maybe a little better, still sick. My legs are just completely not used to running fast at all whatsoever. I did like hills on Tuesday, so like four, four by 80 meter hill sprints, full recovery, just to try to get something back in them. <laughs> Yesterday felt so weird. I'm not running today. I'm like a little, I have like three, like two days before. Ugh. I have these two days. The question is, what do I do on these two days? the day before the race. I'll get great sleep tonight, I'll get great sleep tomorrow, probably won't get great sleep here. If I'm feeling good tomorrow, maybe. So that's the setup, and so if you're so if you're a new runner, you're kind of thinking, well, you know, just obviously take the rest, and then like, you'll be good to go on Sunday, right? Like just rest up and get, you know, if you're not healthy, rest and get healthy, and then you'll be back to normal. Which is true, there's an aspect, there's a component to that. But also like as a, as a runner, it's kind of like, well, if you don't run for a long period of time, you're not going to race well. And I understand I'm not going to race as well as I probably can normally under normal, normal circumstances, right? The real question is, is, is the opportunity cost of not running the same as if I did run? Like, so maybe I am a little sick, but would I have the same effect tomorrow? Would I feel the same tomorrow if I did or I didn't run? Was my sickness going to be any more diminished? Or will it be the exact same? Or will it be worse? You know what I mean? The one thing that I need to do is touch on race pace and a little bit of tempo pace uh, and a little bit faster than race pace before the race. Ideally four days before, no, can't do it. Ideally three days before, I mean like two days before, I don't need to, I don't need to do this for a long period of time. But, you know, a few days before the race, your body needs to know what it's like to run at the pace for a little bit of time just to kind of feel good about it. And then from like an actual physiological standpoint, it's really imperative to kind of keep your tempo, keep tempo pace, like kind of touch on it at least once a week so that your body's used to kind of clearing the lactate and just kind of used to moving at a higher and higher aerobic end. If I'm not talking, if I'm not speaking exactly as eloquently as I normally do, it's because I'm I don't feel, I feel weird, okay? All right, so that's the setup. That's all I got for today. I'll check back in tomorrow on Thursday, Friday to see, we'll see how it's going.